Hey YouTube, Fable Grimroad back again with another deck profile, finally. Um, since there's a week left in this format before the September 1st ban list, I wanted to get this deck profile out of the way. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to give you guys Heretic Gishki. Uh, this deck was pretty popular in Japan. It was essentially like worse than you know what our windup loop is, as they go into you know, as the deck will you know just factory out rank sixes stuff like that. Um, but this deck's gonna get pretty hurt by the ban list. It'll still be playable, but uh, not as consistent as it was. Plus, we're missing one card still, which I'll get to later. But uh, I'll give you guys the deck list first. Start off with a. Uh, Three Manju of, of the 10,000 hands. Uh, just generic uh, Ritual Searcher. Searches for either the spell or a monster. Uh, you know, level fours. So you can go into rank fours. Uh, definitely three up of this guy. He's just he's just really good, really consistent. Um, for Heretics, three Tefnut, who's just a level six Cyber Dragon. And then three Sue, the other level six. Just a Tribute Heretic to special summon him. Um, the deck only really needs the, uh, the level 6s, because that's what the deck focuses on, is going into rank 6. Uh, so, like, the rank 5 heretics and them, you don't really need it all, just these are the 3 that you need. Or the 3 ofs that you need, I apologize. And then along with those, uh, your 2 level 6... Normal monsters, uh, Luster Dragon number two. I got the old one, so it's just regular Luster Dragon, and then Wattail Dragon. Um, I questioned why people, when the deck was first coming out, why people were running one of each, and then someone told me Chain Disappearance, and then I kind of realized why. As when these guys are special summoned, they have zero attack and zero defense. So, say if you run two Wattails, um, and you special summon one of them, someone can go Chain Disappearance against you, and then there goes your other Wattail. So, uh, a lot of people run one of one Lost of Dragon, one Wattail. The stats don't really matter as much. Um, I've also seen people run uh, Alexandrite Dragon as a level 4 normal, if you want to go into level 4s. I haven't tried it out in this deck yet, but just another option. But these are the two main ones that anything Heretic based needs. Uh, for the Gishki side, uh, three Ibagishki Gus Krakens. Uh, this is the card that enables sort of the hand loop, uh, you know, like the wind-up hunter of the deck of sorts. Uh, when this card is ritual summoned, uh, you can look it up and, uh, random, you can look up to two random cards in your opponent's hand and shuffle one of them back into the deck. So, uh, for the September 1st ban list, this thing's going to one just because of how good this deck was, how good this, this loop was in the OCG, so... Uh, I want to get this out of the way while this card's still at 3, but uh, this is probably the best uh, Gishki Ritual. Uh, it's searchable by uh, Gishki Abyss, which I'll get to next. Uh, just really good. Uh, it's The deck's still playable with this thing at 1, but it's not as consistent, so... 3 ofs for the you know few days that's left that allows it. And and, and then, then 1 ofs. Uh, next up, Gishki Abyss. Just a level 2 Gishki Stratos. Um, when it's summoned, you can add one Gishki monster with a thousand or less defense from your deck to your hand, except for itself. Uh, this thing, it can search, uh, either of your two, two ritual guys, it can search Gus Kraken, it's just Stratos, in the deck, more deck thinning, more consistency, run three of. And it also can be brought back with a Gishki Beast, too. Uh, three, Gishki Shadow. Uh, these guys are cool as that they can be used... Um, as an entire ritual tribute for Gishkis, as so like most Gishki decks, is an auto three of in the deck. Same with uh, another card, which we'll get to next. And you can also discard this card or send this card from hand to the graveyard to add one uh, ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. So this guy searches out your your ritual card. So uh, definitely auto three of this guy in the deck. He's also a level four, so you can use him with a beast. If you want to, just go into rank 4, which I like to do probably more so than most people in this deck. But that's just me. Uh, 2 Vision, uh, same deal with Shadow in that he can be used as the entirety of a ritual. Uh, and instead, and you can send him from your hand to the graveyard to add 
uh, a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, I only run two of him because I have other ways of searching out for ritual monsters, such as uh, Manju searches out for both, uh, Preparation of Rites, and Abyss also searches for both. So only two of these are really necessary. Uh, another fun way to use this card is with uh, Deep Sea Diva. That's he's a level 2 Sea Serpent, so he can be searched by Diva. Uh, so you go D summon Diva, search him. You can either go into rank 2 if you want to, or uh, use him. You can tribute him while he's on the field for his effect as well. So just a tutor for him. So I don't run Diva in my deck, but just another way that you can use him. But I run two of him. It's pretty good. And then I also run two Gishki Beasts. I don't see a lot of Heretic builds play this, probably because it's a little inconsistent and can be dead, but it certainly helps go into a uh, rank 4, which as I said, I think I like doing more than I probably should in this deck. But it's just a generic good Gishki monster. Uh, bring back Abyss to get the search, bring back Shadow, uh, and you can have to go into rank 4 to use its effect. So just, uh, just a good monster that I run 2 of. For spells, starting at 3, Gishki Aquamir. Probably the most broken ritual card we've had since um, Advanced Ritual Art and Demise were in their heyday. Uh, you can ritual summon uh, any Gishki ritual monster by uh, using this card. Tribute uh, levels equal to the level of the monster, but that rarely, you know, uh, generic ritual stuff. And then uh, you can return this card from your graveyard to the deck. It's like the one Gishki ritual monster in your graveyard to return to the hand. So it essentially... Recycles back your Gishki monsters and is a free plus one, which helps a lot as, you know, most of the time, or rituals by themselves are generally minuses, but the cool thing about this deck is that it pluses. Uh, the part where Gishkis and Heretics sort of combine strategies is that when you go Aquamir, the Gishki monsters will get their effects when they're tributed for ritual summon. So you would go Aquamir, tribute your, uh, you know, your rank six. Gishki, or your, your level 6 Gishki, and then special summon your Gus Kraken, once I find it. So you go Aquamir, tribute one of these guys, special summon Gus Kraken, and then your Heretic will get their effects off, allowing you to special summon your normal monster, so you would pop a card from their hand, and then go into rank 6, if you so choose to, or then, and then go off shenanigans from there. So, definitely three of of Aquamere as it's, like, the key card in the deck. Uh, also, three Heretic Seal of Convocation. This card's going to two in September, but it's not such a huge loss as Gus Kraken at one. But it's just, you know, tutor for Sue, tutor for Tefnut. Uh, just deck thinning and consistency, so, you know, no reason not to run three. Three, Preparation of Rights. This card is extremely good with Gus Kraken, as... You can recycle your Aquamere back in the graveyard, get a Gus Kraken from your deck to your hand, and just do, uh, essentially just a free summoning of Gus Kraken. You just get cards out of your opponent's hand. This card is very good as sort of like a loop enabler. Uh, so definitely three of. Very, a very key card in the deck. Uh, two MSTs, just a spell trap destruction, just to cl clear the way of, you know, a solemn or whatever. Two Salvage, uh, I've seen a lot of people run, not really running this as much in Heretic Gishki. I'll see some people do it, some people won't, as they'll do, like, Upstart instead. I'd rather run this as it's a plus one, and gets back, you know, your shadows and your visions that you dump to the graveyard back to your hand, and you can reuse their effects. So, uh, just, two is good. And then just, a Generic, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, and Dark Hole, as just to round out the deck. Uh, no Trap Cards in the deck. Just because the deck is, you know, supposed to be very combo-y and trap cards just slow it down. Uh, for the extra deck, your rank 6 options, along with uh, the Gaia Dragon, just to overlay on top of a dead one. So you got your uh, Atom, good with uh, just Heretic Dragon Atom, special summon your dragons. Bouncer and Force Focus are just walking, you know, effect negators. Uh, Bounds is probably the more generic of the two because it could be any monster and Force Focus has to be level 5 or higher. But both are very good. Uh, Guy Dragon, rank 7, but you can uh, overlay him on top of a rank 5 or 6. So he's a, you know, sort of like a 
generic chaos monster for high level guys, just a 2600 attack trampler. The one card that we're missing that enables sort of the loop to continue and be consistent is the uh, uh, the Constellar Dragon uh, Messiah 7. He's in like the last dual terminal as you go into rank 6 and you can get back stuff from your graveyard. Uh, he's the one card that we're missing to make this loop like possible and playable in the TCG. But uh, outside of that, the deck's very still very good at uh, rank 6 spam with these guys. So uh, the Constellar is the one guy that we're missing that makes this deck really good. But until then, it's still pretty decent as far as summoning out rank 6s, which is you know very good from what I hear. And then just your 4-star uh, options. Shockmaster Pearl, Marageist, Utopia, Kachikochi, Maestroke. And then sort of the reason why I love going into rank 4 in this deck as much as I do is Queen Dragon Jin. Um... She's a she's a Jin monster, so she can be used with like Maestroke and all those guys. Uh, so you need two level four monsters, dragon type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle except for herself. Uh, that's pretty cool. It doesn't really matter as much in this deck. And then once per turn, you can detach one ex Xyz material from this card to target one level five or higher dragon type monster in your graveyard and special summon that target. And it can attack the turn and, and its effects are negated. So it's just sort of a rank four atom. That gets back your uh, your heretics, your uh, your wattails, the, that stuff like that. Uh, it's just you know very good for dragon decks. I run you know, one or two of in the deck. It's sort of the reason why I like running uh, rank fours in here is just to get her out as she's just another option for the deck to go off on and then get back stuff and then go into a uh, rank six. So you can use up your uh, your spent majus, your gishki beasts, stuff like that. Go into her, get back a heretic, and then use that to. Uh, you know, tribute, go into Gus Kraken, or tribute for another heretic, stuff like that. Or just beat with it next turn if you want to. Uh, so, very good card for the deck as a rank 4 option. Alright, well, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, unfortunately, as I, as I said before, this deck is almost dead by the time uh, September 1st rolls around. But, it's still playable, just not as consistent as it was before, because you only have the one Gus Kraken, so if something happens to that one Gus Kraken, you're screwed. But, uh, still a very fun deck. Probably the most effective ways to run Gishkis in the meta is just this rank 6 spam until they get their other stuff out, with like Zeal Gigas and, uh, Levy Anima and those guys. Uh, very fun deck, very cool deck. If you guys want to check it out for, you know, the week that's left in this format, or just keep it in mind for next format, I just wanted to show you guys this deck before it kind of goes up in smoke a little bit. But, uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. Peace out.